Hello, beautiful people, and uh, welcome back to uh, Theo Gaming Lab. In this episode, I will show you how to make bread. Before we start, as usual, if you enjoy the content, like and subscribe for more. It's the best way to support me. Now, let's dig into it. So, making bread is a process in three steps. The first step is to have uh, a farmhouse uh, that can produce uh, wheat. And uh, you can uh, see a, a tutorial on the farmhouse on uh, my channel, and you can see it actually on that direction, uh, on the upper right part of the uh, screen. Make sure that you cultivate uh, wheat <coughs> in the farm, and uh, the best way to do it is to click on the field, and make sure that you have selected uh, wheat. There is written also the fertility rate of uh, the fertility percentage of your uh, soil. I recommend to have a farmhouse uh, in a fertile region or over fertile soil. And how recognize uh, if the soil is fertile or not? Well, uh, you can go on construction, uh, then you go on farming and then uh, field and uh, as you can see uh, it gives you the emmer fertility the greener is uh, the field the more fertile is the soil so, so please make a favor to yourself don't build uh, where it's uh, very green build where it's yellow or red so one more thing about the farmhouse uh, is that uh, uh, in september uh, the wheat uh, is transported by uh, the farmers inside uh, the farmhouse and then uh, it, that is where it happened the threshing so the conversion of the wheat into the grain and since the food now is spoiling uh, and it's difficult to understand uh, how much it's, it's spoil really uh, so i would recommend to avoid any food loss to just go into the advance uh, and uh, prioritize the threshing which is the conversion of the wheat into the grain again uh, so they can be transported uh, even to the either to the mill or to the uh, granary before uh, the food spoil the second step in producing uh, bread is having a mill like the one that you see in uh, uh, right now and to build the mill you go into construction farming and then is uh, this uh, windmill and it requires four uh, woodlock and what the mill does it converts grain into flour if you click on the mill uh, menu you have a general part when it's where it shows you what uh, there is in the pantry it can be the newly produced flour or uh, the grains that can come either from the farm or from the granary and the uh, miller uh, is the one that goes and pick up the resources you can have up to three people working in the mill again you can see where uh, they are and what they are doing where is their house uh, their workplace and eventually we can you can uh, um, reassign a family doing something else in case it's wrong in the advanced uh, section uh, you can uh, reserve some grain for this uh, uh, building so it does not go anything else before going to this building and uh, you can produce uh, you can set a production limit for the flower <clears throat> i have noticed the more i play this game and the more i notice that not necessarily produce more is better uh, sometimes produce more just uh, make so many resources that it clog uh, the system because people is busy transporting those resources all the time even when it's not necessary the third part of uh, the bread uh, production uh, is the communal oven which is the thing that you see uh, right now uh, the communal oven uh, uh, or the baker uh, basically uh, goes and fetch uh, the flour uh, and then uh, each flour give one bread however if you are in a region that relies heavily on farming like uh, the current uh, region there is a better way to produce bread from flour and which is this way well uh, it's the bakery 
Uh, so basically it's an extension of your uh, Burgage plot. You can see it right now. So you need to have a Berg at least Burgage plot level two plus uh, is not enough. You need to go to the development point and you need to enable uh, the development branch before you can have the bakery. So the development branch bakeries enable the production of bread more efficiently than the communal oven uh, from flour. So currently is one flour gives two bread. And before you have the bakery, you need to unlock the heavy plow. So you need to unlock two development points before you can have uh, the bakery set up. But then you basically have double amount of bread. And how I set uh, those three uh, building in my village, now there is uh, Don Vittorio that is uh, looking over the situation, so it's better I behave. So while Don Vittorio is uh, visiting the city, <clears throat> I can tell you that uh, I place usually the farm in the least uh, fertile uh, place, while I have all the fields in the greenest uh, area, so that I have the highest uh, percentage of uh, uh, fertile soil. <clears throat> then uh, since uh, the uh, grains are uh, uh, basically fetched by the miller. Uh, I put uh, the windmill close to the farm, but also to the granary because they go and fetch the grain from both places. Uh, and in regards to the granary, again, is the place where the food spoiled the least. So you want your food stored there. As soon as you can, you can. Uh, I, what I would advise, and I will uh, uh, explore this more in the food management video that will come out uh, in short, uh, is to uh, plop dedicated uh, granary that do different things. And now, exactly to use those granary, I will show you in that video. So, uh, subscribe if you want to see. Uh, the uh, video on the food management. <clears throat> then uh, basically uh, the communal oven is close to the mill uh, because it fetch the flour either from the mill or again from the um, large granary. <clears throat> and the same thing of course uh, with the uh, bakery which these times are uh, here just for because they were the first one that I could uh, evolve in this village, but ideally I will put in a bit a, a little bit closer uh, and not too far from the market. What I usually do with the market is, as you can see, uh, build little market space so I can build multiple uh, market uh, in my uh, town. And with this. I think that Don Vittorio is uh, satisfied on uh, the information provided. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video and uh, that it will be uh, useful for you. Uh, if it is, please drop a like and subscribe for more. This is the best way to support me. Uh, and uh, let me know what you think in the comment. Uh, uh, if you want, say hello to Don Vittorio. And uh, I hope you see you soon and that you have a great day. Bye, guys.